Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be diving into a topic that I think most of us as artists can really relate to, the starving artist mindset. If you're an artist, I'm sure you know what I mean. That belief that being an artist means barely scraping by, that your work isn't worth much or even worse, that people won't pay what it's worth. But here's the thing, it's a myth. Yes, you heard that right. And today we're going to talk about how to ditch the starving artist mindset and step into a thriving one. So swapping over the starving artist into the thriving artist and looking at where your art is valued, where it's appreciated and yes, profitable. I'll be sharing some personal stories and tips on shifting your money mindset and why it's so important for artists like yourselves to value you and your work. My name is Paula McGurdy and I'm a visual artist from Dublin in Ireland and I've been on this journey for quite some time now and I just love sharing what I have learned along the way. So let's dive in. The starving artist myth and story is my own personal story is I bought into that whole starving artist thing. Maybe it was because I grew up in the 80s in Ireland where there was a lot of scarcity. Um, as I grew up, I loved creating, but there was this nagging feeling in the back of my mind that told me that people wouldn't pay what my work was worth. I didn't even know how to price my art confidently. I didn't even put it out there for quite some time. This belief kept me small and it kept me from really putting myself out there and charging what I deserved and even showing up and showing my work as well. For so long, I thought I was protecting myself, but honestly, I was just really holding myself back. And the shift came from me when I started doing the deep inner work around money mindset. And I know many of you might think, oh, that's not really about pricing your work, but that is where the foundations of our core beliefs lie. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. This takes confidence and bravery and stepping into things that might make you feel uncomfortable. And I had to confront a lot of limiting beliefs that I didn't even know were there at the time. Things like money is the root of all evil or you can't make money doing what you love. And a big one for me was you can't be a good person and earn lots of money. And as I said, these were all beliefs that were passed down. So how did I go about shifting from scarcity to abundance? Well, once I started up my art business a good few years ago, I began to see how this was filtered down into my work and my business and I really started reading up on money attitudes, listening to podcasts, to be honest anything I could get my hands on really. I was so curious to see if this could change things around for me. I read books like Mindset by Carol Dweck, You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Gaiosaki, and Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill just to mention a few. And the first step to getting rid of the starving artist mentality really is shifting that money mindset, as I said. The whole idea and the way you think about money can literally keep you stuck in that scarcity or it can help you thrive. And I made a choice and I made a decision that I really wanted to step into. How could I see myself thriving and how could I change some of that narrative that I had taken upon myself. So for me, understanding that money is just an exchange of energy was an absolute game changer. Think about it. Every time someone buys your artwork, they're exchanging their energy in the form of money for your energy in the form of art. It's a beautiful transaction, one that values your time, your creativity and your worth. So they see that what they're giving you in the form of paper money is equivalent in the form of what you're creating and giving them. But just before you can really embrace that, you have to let go of those old limiting beliefs. Start by asking yourself, what did I learn about money growing up? For me, I grew up in a creative family where the message was, you can do this, it's beautiful, but you'll never make a living from it. And those generational beliefs really shaped how I saw myself as an artist. 
Growing up in Ireland in the 80s, there was really a deep scarcity mindset around money. It was a time where there was huge unemployment and it affected our family and my own thoughts about money on a very subconscious level. Historically, we were a poor country and those attitudes get passed down without boring you with all of the historical details. But as a collective, we were a country with really low self-esteem and it definitely influenced me. I was inadvertently taught to think small, to think that making money from something like art was not really possible or an option, that a good pensionable job or a trade would serve me well. And I'm assuming if you're in your 40s and beyond, you might have been brought up with a similar mindset. But here's the thing, you don't have to hold on to those beliefs because they aren't your beliefs. They were given to you in childhood at some stage along the way. And that's not to put blame on anybody. It's just the society that we were brought up in. They were handed down to you. And just like you create a painting from scratch, you can create new beliefs about money and about value. If you're curious and open to it, Here is an exercise that really helped me to start to break free from limiting beliefs. Somebody suggested this to me once before and maybe it could help you too. And that is write a letter to money. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds a bit like woo woo and all that kind of stuff. But bear with me. In this letter, if you're brave, as I said, be honest. Write down how you feel about money. Does it feel like it's always just out of reach? Do you feel like you never have enough? When I first did this, it felt like I was writing to an old, unreliable friend. I just put everything that I had learned and been taught and had taken upon myself about money, about where it showed up in my life, where it didn't. And as I said, it was like that unreliable friend, someone who only showed up when they wanted to. That realization really helped me to see that I had a dysfunctional relationship with money and it was really holding me back. And from there, I could start to change it. It was in my power to change. And once I started shifting my own money mindset, something amazing happened. I started showing up with confidence. I began to believe in the value of my work and in turn, the people around me did too. Like if you don't believe in your work and you don't believe in the money and the price value that you put on it, nobody else will. I stopped undercharging or discounting my work just to make a sale. I realized that when you respect your art and yourself, others will too. It's a call to action for other people. And this is so important. As artists, we often think, oh, I'll just charge a little less to make sure it sells or no one's going to pay that much for my work. But the truth is when you value your art, when you know it's worth the price you're asking, people will see that. And also people have a lot more money than we realize. People In certain areas, they will be willing to spend so much more than you would even put the value of your work on. You are not your client. So don't put your own beliefs onto your art, expecting everybody else to feel the same. Great tool to help with this shift is journaling. It's such a powerful way to get in touch with those limiting beliefs. Take some time to reflect and write about your relationship, money with art and your self-worth and you'll see how they're all interconnected. Ask yourself things like, what do I believe about money and why do I think I can't charge what I want? Another thing that really helped me was I started to create affirmation cards and I really did them because I wanted to change something in my own mind and I needed something as a physical thing to help me almost change the script that I'd been telling myself. So I created a pack of wonder cards and it was an attempt to help me change my own limiting beliefs and open up new ways of thinking. And every day I would pull out one to remind myself of my value, to remind myself of the person I was stepping into being. And I would set it up on my desk, like where I was painting, or I'd keep it in my pocket or my bag as I was going about my day. And it was 
And it's kind of been like building my own memory muscle around that. And it's simple, but it can be really, really transformative to see positive words every day and to speak them over yourself. At the end of the day, you are the artist of your own life. You get to decide what your beliefs are and choose what kind of life you want to create. If you want to thrive as an artist, you have to let go of the starving artist mindset and step into a new belief system where your work is valuable and your creativity is celebrated. So why not start today? Plant those seeds of belief nurture them and watch them grow and you'll be amazed at the changes that can happen once you start shifting your mindset. For any of you that have ever planted anything out in the garden, on your porches, wherever it might be, you know that you plant those seeds but you have to nurture them, water them, they need sunlight, they need all of that lovely vitamin D, they need the water and you need to feed them, you need to spend time with them and give them what they need. And then soon enough, you see the shoots growing and you see these gorgeous plants growing out of the ground, out of the soil. And then they turn into something else and they start growing and eventually there's fruit on them. But before the fruit comes, the roots have to go really deep and they have to do the work underneath. That isn't even seen, but that that is such deep, beautiful work that needs to happen in order for the fruit to grow and this is exactly the same as your own beliefs nurture them and watch them grow let those seeds of beliefs just really sink down and you'll be amazed at what can happen thank you so much for watching i hope this video has inspired you to start looking at your own money mindset and your worth as an artist remember you are worthy your art is worthy there is room at the table there are so many people who would love to see your art and there are so many people who would love to buy your art and you deserve to thrive so please put some time and energy into yourself into that mindset from starving to thriving and see your value as an artist in society, your value as what you create to being something beautiful that you can give out to the world. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and comment below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. What's your experience with money and art and have you struggled with that starving artist mentality as well? So until next time, creatives, keep going and believe in yourself. Bye.